I can tell you many different memories that I have as a child and being around my sister. But I don't remember much about my own mother. I do remember when my sister left. My sister is 10 years older than me, and I can remember her dancing in front of her bedroom mirror, putting on her lip gloss and I, without her knowledge, smacking my lips right along with her and combing my nappy curly hair the best that I could. She was being watched. I wanted to be just like her. The way she dressed, her confidence, her take charge or get out personality, that's who I wanted to be. That's who I looked up to. That's who I paid very close attention to. My mother, her boyfriend and I, moved some states over while my sister stayed behind around the age of 15. I would lay, I would lay awake at night, wondering, wondering what my sister was doing and wishing that God would answer just one of my prayers, that I would get to live with her. But instead, she was living the life that she was supposed to be living, the life that God intended for her to have. And I was living, well, I was growing up too soon. I would spend sleepless nights thinking about the mother that I wanted to be, how I wanted to have little girls that I could empower, teach, and love. I realized at a young age the race that I would have to win to become a mother. I knew that I was robbed of everything, pure and innocent that a child is. It would be a miracle for me to become a well-rounded person, let alone a good mother. I had spent my days with an unavailable, absent, distracted mother and endured abuse from my stepfather. From the age of five to an early teen, I'll <laughs> I'll never forget many years later when I fumbled the words out to my sister on one of her trips to visit. I've been abused, have been, years now. And then I'll never forget what she did. How she looked at me, the rage and fury burned in her heart. She was calm and within days I was placed in a different home. My sister was nurturing, protective, reactive, motherly. She was the coolest sister that anyone I knew had ever had. And again, I was watching and I wanted to be just like her. The relationship between a mother and a child is one of the most important in your lifetime. Each person's story is different. Each relationship is its own. I never had a mother or a father at that. But what I did have growing up was unique. I had a sister. And though there is a powerful bond that exists between a mother and a child, I had what only God could have instilled in me. I had hope. My sister had a nurturing softness for as long as I can remember. But she also had a stern, I don't take shit from anyone attitude. <laughs> she was independent, driven, motivated. Characteristics that she still has today. And entering into college, I knew still, I wanted to be just like her. My sister and I are vastly different. I had a few battles in my early 20s and my sister taught me a lot, even from afar. There was something that always glowed inside of her that inspired me. Something that made me want to be a better version of the person that I was. Through all my life, 
I never lost touch of my own mother. There is something to be learned from everyone that comes into your life. And there is so much to be gained through forgiveness. I am now happily married, raising our three and soon to be four little girls. I am still unsure of how to be a great mother. I'm still learning. And I thank my mother for showing me the other side of life. My sister for motivating me. And my husband for loving me and showing our children how a man should love his wife. I pray that my girls will give their children so much more than I have given them. But I also pray that one day that they can say, that's who I want to be. That's who I look up to. That's who showed me how to be a mother. I was listening. I was watching. <laughs>